Hi, today I have a 2006 with diesel fuel in the cooling system. I'm going to try the, the different liner and injector sleeve for the, that's made by Accurate Diesel on this one. Show the uh, way to test it and also the, um, and how to install it and use it. As you can see here, we have the contamination inside the cooling system, the diesel fuel. We have a swollen degas bottle and the hoses are swollen, which over time it'll wipe out pretty much everything. The water pump seal will go bad, the O-ring underneath the intake, everything rubber is going to deteriorate. So you don't want to let this one go too long, start giving you issues. First thing we want to do is drain the coolant and then most common is going to be on the passenger side. That's where we normally see the crack. So I'm going to start off there and look. So we're going to drain the cooling system and then tear the passenger side apart. To inject air in the block to find the crack, I want to drain the block. That way we don't try to force coolant out, we'll force the air out. So this is the driver's side, pull off the plug back here and that helps to drain it so when we inject the air it's going to be a lot, it's come out a lot cleaner. Okay, go ahead and turn it on. More. That's good, thank you. Pump it up, and remember it's going to take time because it's just air, so it's gonna take a whole lot more effort to get it pumped up. When you get the kit, just the basic kit, you're going to get the seals that you need, a new injector tip right here, a sleeve for the bore, and some retaining compound. What, what, let me just explain a few things here. This is the cup that's normally inside the head right here. You're going to replace it with this one, because normally when you, the head cracks, it cracks right above here. So with this new liner, it's going to cover the crack and make pretty much then that way the, the cracks no longer a problem because it's completely sealed up with this stainless steel liner. So that, that way we don't have to worry about it, we don't have to, pay to go through the expense of replacing the head. And you can see the difference right here. But also when you put this new liner in, your injector will no longer fit down inside the bore. So what they have here is, this is the old injector. You're going to replace the tip, the end of your injector, which I'll show here. And it's, a, it's narrow, it's made to fit down inside the new sleeve. So then, and this also only requires one seal just due to the design. So anyhow, your kit's going to come with the retaining compound, the seals need it, the sleeve, and also the injector tip. What you can do, you can rent, you can either rent or purchase depending on how many you're going to do. This is going to be the retainer, the, the part that you put inside the vise to hold your injector so you can take it apart. You will need one of these to do it properly, which I'll show doing the injector here. And also one thing while we're talking about this, pretty much on this seal kit. I'm only probably going to use that one. That one and also of course the ones that mounted inside the inside the bore. Because usually I I've always found this is why I'm always bad mouthing aftermarket injectors. If you start to try to replace this seal that's down inside here, I end up seeing too much failure. So I, I if these aren't bad, I don't touch them. Just leave them alone. You're a whole lot better off not removing that snap ring and not messing with these seals. We'll just do the one that seals it in the bore and then the one that seals the injector tip onto the injector. So let's go ahead and do that.
Oui. To remove the cup, I just use the standard tool here that I got from freedomracing.com. They also can rent them down there at Accurate Diesel if you need them. And then just the same, just a standard installer we use to reinstall them. It's starting to get some real resistance. Also note that the coolant was already drained previously when I was doing the pressure check. You want to make sure the coolant's drained so you don't get a little water, a bunch of water into the cylinders. Switching it from the 916 here that I was driving the, the tap down into it to the 11 16 to I'm going to turn it and pull it out. It's extremely important that the bore is completely clean. You want to use a brake clean, make sure there's no coolant or anything inside the bore. So you got, I'm taking a screwdriver here and a rag and I'm wiping it out to make sure it's clean. compound on it's extremely important to have the hole for the fuel inlet lined up straight up pointing at the engine Once you get the injector in and torque down to the proper specs, reassemble it, but don't turn the key on for at least a couple hours. You want to give it a little bit of time to set up so the fuel doesn't contaminate your, your ceiling compound. Okay, here we have it all back together, monitoring cylinder contribution. Have no problems with the injector that I took apart and resealed. The sleeve made absolutely no difference in the performance. I don't see any cylinders drip dipping or dropping or any other issues including when I was driving it. So everything's turned out good here. 
I'm gonna make a video on showing how to flush them when they have a contaminated cooling system. Some uh, pointers on that. And hopefully this helps you out, gives you an alternative to replacing a cracked cylinder head. If you do like my videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.